I did not taste like a latte. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chelsea. Hello, welcome, hi. So thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be all about my Rook piercing that's on my right ear. I've had this piercing for a year and six months now, or just about. I got it done in February 2019 and I want to tell you a little bit about my experience with it, um, how I felt, what the pain was, healing process, all that jazz. If you're excited, thumbs up this video and keep on watching. Okay, so like I said, I got this done in February 2019 and I got it with my friend. I got it done in Bancolo, which is in Glasgow, where I got majority of my piercings. So I would say it's not healed properly yet because it is still a little bit crusty nowadays like not every day i wake up and it's crusty just the odd time maybe like if i bump it during my sleep it might get a little bit irritated and whatever and i just give it a little quick clean and i use t tcp to clean my piercings and um, a lot of people use that and it's honestly so good like if you're struggling to heal your piercings or you know you've got a heloids is that what they're called if you've got one of them i had one of them on my conch and it cleared up in like three days by using this um, I don't know where you can get it from, but just type up TCP and you'll see it. It smells really nice still. People really like the smell, but I do. So I use a wee cotton bud and clean it around uh, up and the bottom, and then I slide it up and down to make sure there's not like crusty bits, basically. It's technically like a hidden piercing because it is more in with your ear, but because it's still, you know, it's still there and it's kind of on the front, not really, you know, in, um, it is more likely to get hit or like to get it bashed or whatever. Um, so just be aware when you know, you're playing sports or whatever. I don't do that, but if you do, just be careful. So according to Google or like the internet, supposedly the Rook is a pressure point. So it's good for headaches, not migraines, but it's good for headaches. And see if I'm honest, it doesn't help my headaches because they're still the same. A year and six months later, they're still the same. So um, if you're wanting to do the chance just for the headaches, go for it. But personally, I don't think I feel any different. I still get headaches quite a lot. Um, and I don't know why, but I still get headaches quite a lot. So the pain, I would say, was a 6 out of 10. And it was more uncomfortable and my ear got really hot, just like the majority of piercings. Um, if you watched my last video, you'll know that I said that I hardly ever feel pain. I hardly ever feel pain. That makes me sound so cool. I hardly ever I really find it that sore to get piercings, basically. But I read that the pain level was similar to the tragus and the death piercing. So if you've had either of them, um, that's supposedly the pain. I've not got either of them, I've just got the Rook. So I can't really compare, but supposedly that is the the pain level of both of them. So yeah, I'd say six out of 10, 10 being the highest, one being the lowest. Then the piercer, piercer artist, I don't know what it would be called, the piercer. When they pierce your ear, they should be doing it really fast. They shouldn't be taking slow and they shouldn't be like messing around because I, I think, oh my God. Oh my God, the washing's out. It's far too late. I ain't going out there. I'm so out of breath now because I just ran down the stairs and it's actually so wet already. And you know what? I'm not costing myself that hassle. Okay, so yeah. Oh, now I'm cold. Piercings should be fast. Majority of piercings should be fast because the longer, you know, it takes to pierce something, the longer, like, the harder you're gonna feel it. You know what I mean? So make sure your piercer is doing it fast enough not to tell them off because they should be. <laughs> Can I just mention that I am not qualified or anything like that. I'm just using my common sense. <laughs> it shouldn't take long. Anyway, enjoy the video. So I would say this piercing obviously takes a long time to heal. Um, in my experience, obviously a year and six months at that, and it's not technically properly healed. Um, is a very long time. Each piercings obviously take different um, lengths of healing time, but this one takes six to a year's time healing. 18 months it says which is a very long time so you need to you know be patient make sure you'll be cleaning it that i technically don't do it as often as i should that's probably why it's not healing as fast as i want it to but personally i think it looks sooner than it is just for the fact that it looks like a complicated piercing do you know what i mean you know i don't really know much about piercings you know what i mean so that's probably why there's many different types of jewelry you can put in your Rook, when it's finally healed, I think, anyway, I hope <laughs> this is like the pierce, the jewellery type you're meant to get with your, oh that hurt, this is meant to be the type of jewellery you get with it when you like get it pierced obviously, which is a carved barbell, 
and obviously it's given it room to like um, wiggle around and whatever in case it spells up or like gets irritated, infected, etc. Um, you can also put just a normal stud in it, um, I think, anyway. <laughs> I saw a picture and it looks pretty. Um, there we go, there's actual hammering down like. Do a stud, obviously the curved barbell, you can also do a hoop. Um, which I actually didn't know but I actually quite like the look of it. So many different types of jewellery and yeah I think it's a lot, it's like a, there's a lot of options with it, it's just not like one type which is always good um, because you can get some piercings and you're like oh it's, it's a bit boring type of thing you know what I mean. Like it, and I've actually not changed the the jewellery yet just because I've not found anything that I really like and I'm quite happy leaving it the now just because I know it's technically not fully healed and I don't really want to mess around with it in case like I change it and it messes up and I'll need to like change it back or worst case scenario have to take it out and get it re pierced which I do not want. It's a really pretty piercing I don't know why I think it just looks you know a little bit different um supposedly it was very popular in 2019 which I actually don't know I only know a couple people with it um but I really like it um it's really pretty it's a good like constellation star so like I know a lot of people um have a lot of different types of piercings all around their ear and it's classed as like a constellation which are really pretty and like you can make your own and all that this is like one of those um kind of to add to them which is pretty cool because it looks like two piercings in one i think so that's all i've got to say about the rook piercing tell me below which has been your soda piercing if you've got any um, or any ones that you would like to get. Uh, I really like hearing stuff like this. I really like all things Pearsons and yeah I love them and I love getting them. They're so addictive. <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it and if you did leave me a big thumbs up to let me know. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button and turn post notifications on so you never miss an upload of mine. I upload every Thursday and Sunday. But yeah I hope you did enjoy it and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.